I'm not a huge fan of disc brakes. The whole theory for road cycling and disc brakes is that you can brake last minute. And yes, the Peloton's doing that. But sometimes the tires are not adequate enough to go in so hard into the corner and you're seeing a lot of crashes in the Peloton. Most definitely the speeds of, of uh, racing has gone up a hell of a lot as well. Workload with disc brakes is insane. You can get a brake to work absolutely perfect for a normal cyclo tourist. But for a professional that will hit a 20 to 30 kilometer descent, who is really heavy on his brakes, by the bottom, the rotor is, is noisy, the pistons are frozen, they're stuck. Hopefully with the new 12 speed from Shimano, um, I think hopefully those problems have been resolved. But I don't know, Chris is not a huge fan. There's a noise factor, it's not super reliable. Wheel change is way slower. So I think those are aspects that can improve. In mountain biking, the racing is different. I know they've been using it for years, but racing is completely different in mountain biking. It's not, it's not the same type of elements that these guys would face daily. The biggest thing is, is the weight factor, because now you, you add additional 300, 400 grams to the bike, so where are you going to lose that weight? Ultimately, you need to lose it on the frame or uh, on the wheels. That's it. So, which means you need to go super light. Once again, um, pushing the, the, the boundaries there. I think it was more forced by the manufacturers than anything else and not so much by the riders. This was coming from the manufacturers at the end of the day. I remember 12 years ago, I think they spoke to me about this brakes are coming to the peloton and what do you think we could do to, to improve it or what could, you, could be the issues on the roadside. Like I explained to them back then, I said if you can have an adjustable piston, already you solve some of the issues because if that piston gets blocked and is hard, you should be able to move it enough so that you've got some clearance. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's, not, it's easy to say it, but to do it is a different story. I think it's, it's similar if you compare it to when electronics came to, to cycling. You know, when you start pushing a button and your gears are changing from mechanical, and everybody was really dead set against it. There were some people for it, some against it. Now, if you look at the bikes, 90% of the bikes on the market are electronic. Initially, we had a lot of problems with electronic. It's just a matter of time, I guess, when disc brakes will get to that level, but we've got to give it time. The hard part is these guys' careers are still continuing, so they don't really have much time. It's something new, and I think people tend to shy away from something new or reject it initially. So uh, we just need to keep an open mind and, and go from there.